Next in the row we come to avionics. Um, this, this little control head here uh, is our communications, our VHF radio control head. This is our transponder for air traffic control. These are modern uh, avionics that are required to fly the airplane today in modern American airspace. I wanted to point out to you uh, these boxes here on the right hand side of the cockpit. We talked earlier about how the airplane was flown with your right hand and all the controls are on your left. On the right side of the cockpit here are the avionics, the radios uh, that the airplane had in 1943. Um, these two boxes, transmitter and receiver, uh, would be HF frequency, high frequency band communications uh, radio equipment in that time period. There's a big antenna on the outside of the airplane. These are not operational today. Um, modern avionics is based on very high frequency and one gigahertz band radar transponders. Those are required in every airplane to fly in modern American airspace. So we've taken the insides out of these boxes. They appear realistic. Inside there are modern solid state electronics for VHF radio and the transponder. And here on the instrument panel we have control heads hidden away trying to blend in with the 1940s instruments and the 1940s uh, motif of our cockpit. I think they do a pretty good job of hiding. Finally in the cockpit we look at the instrument at the electronic control panel here, excuse me, electrical control panel across the bottom. Uh, we have switches for lights, the engine starter, we have cockpit lighting, we have spotlights of various kinds, uh, lighting uh, for landing lights and taxi lights. Um, we have a voltmeter and an amp meter uh, to give uh, tell us the condition of our charging system. The engine does have a generator, not an alternator, for those of you that, that uh, remember the difference in what things were like back in the bad old days in the 20th century of generators. Uh, and over on the far right here we have the circuit breakers for all of the systems uh, included in the airplane and an avionics on off switch. Right in the middle, cockpit temperature controls, hot and cold, uh, parking brake, and an alternate air valve uh, in case there should be any damage to the pitot tube in the airplane you can uh, open alternate air and still get uh, instruments to operate long enough for you to land the airplane safely. Thank you. Wide and